Hey everybody, Tony Gaddis here. And this video is in response to a question from King K on YouTube. And they ask, uh, can you please do an animation tutorial on how to tell a story, but in animation format? Uh, so my process is a little chaotic. For example, I had this idea of my little turtle character and I wanted to, to tell a, a more complete story with him. And so I started jotting down ideas. So this is him on the branch right here. It's bent over and he's reaching for an apple. Because my original idea was just that he was hungry. And so then here's another page in my sketchbook. Let's see. Uh, I did some little thumbnails trying to work out the different shots and exactly what was going to happen. So here's some more expressions and so I'm constantly thinking about this character and what's gonna happen and then at some point I was like okay well let's print out some some of these storyboard panels and they come in all different shapes and sizes uh, you can even use the little ones I don't know if I have any yeah here's some you could use these little panels I uh, just Google storyboard templates and I like to I like to use pencil and paper so I'll print it out and just kind of jot down my ideas try to get it a little more organized for example here he is walking up to this tree and the apples up here and he climbs up the tree picks the apple oh here I left I left some out so here he is climbing up the tree and so like I said my process is kind of sporadic uh, I just kind of try to get these ideas down before I forget and so now let's jump to open tunes okay and I'll show you what I did there okay here we are in open tunes and I've created three columns I'm gonna lock this just so I don't accidentally change anything so I created this grid for my background and I call it BG underscore G for grid. And then I have uh, BG underscore L for background layout. So I have a level called character underscore L. And since I'm working on this all by myself, like I don't have a team of people that I have to pass shots off to, I'm just keeping this all in one project and all in one scene, okay? but you could break up each shot into its own scene and have multiple scenes in your project, okay? But for me, I just thought I could stay more organized and jump around a lot easier just having it all in one scene. So here's a character, he walks in and cuts to a close-up. His stomach grumbles. And so right in here, this is where I uh, I added a little marker right here to designate when the camera changed. Okay, and so then I just deleted the background. I'm not drawing the background through here, just the character. And then it cuts back to his stomach growling, and he looks around for something to eat, and then he sees an apple, and he tries to jump up and get it. And so at this point, it's just more like an animatic or like a storyboard. I'm just keeping it rough and trying to figure out kind of my timing and the pacing of the whole whole story. He picks up the stick. This part's kind of quick. He throws it, misses the apple. Uh, he hits something. Thunk. The squirrel falls down. And it's like... Rah, 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 rah. So then we cut back and he's griping him out and the squirrel runs up the tree and he looks around he's like hmm gets an idea and he climbs up this tree and then he's reaching for the apple reaching and he picks it and then we cut back to this wide shot and then boing. So you could bring this whole thing into a new scene as 
or even a new project as a sub X sheet. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to create a new column over here and this will be my rough animation. So what I'll do is I'll go into my background layout and bump the opacity way down and the character layout and bump the opacity way down. And then I'll start doing my rough animation. So here I've already started roughing in where his steps will be. Okay. And I've only gotten down to frame like 60. And it's not even on <laughs> twos. It's on, I'm holding each frame for one, two, three, four frames. So right now this is all on fours. So let me set my stop marker right up here and hit play. Okay, so this is, I'm just trying to work out my rough animation for the character. And then I'll go through each shot and do that. And in Open Tunes, you can right click on frames and you can add tags, uh, which is really helpful. And then you can jump from tag to tag, which is pretty cool. And you can do notes, add uh, memo notes like this. And you can type, type stuff like this is um, walks in, okay. And then you can change the color of the note. So certain colors could mean certain things. And it's just like a little post-it note and then you can kind of move it around like, oh, okay, this is up here. This is where he walks in. So I can quickly see it in my X sheet and you can click it, right click, delete memo and it gets rid of it. And this is the exact same way I animated my short fluttered uh, with the turtle, but there's not a lot of different camera switches in that. He's just, it's just one steel camera. Uh, but I did the same thing. I did a lot of sketches in my sketchbook. I did some thumbnails. I did some tiny little uh, storyboards trying to work out exactly what was going to happen. I did like a rough animatic in open tunes. I did a rough animation pass. Then I cleaned it up, colored it, um, exported it as an MP4 and brought the whole thing into DaVinci Resolve post-production type stuff, added sound and things like that. So it can feel daunting. Just keep at it. And I hope this made sense. And until next time, I'll talk to you later and happy animating. Bye.